Professor uh, Dhirendra Pal Singh, Chairperson, University Grants uh, Commission. Professor Senapati, uh, Director, NCERT. Colleagues and uh, friends from uh, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, the Maldives, uh, Nepal, and uh, Sri Lanka. Namaste. Mujhe bahut prasanta hai ki mujhe ap sabi ke beech up astit oneka mauka mila hai. And uh, at the outset, I would like to uh, really uh, thank NCRT. Thank you in particular, uh, Professor uh, Senapati, for your uh, uh, enlightening uh, presentation uh, just now. I'm sure it will inspire all the participants for uh, the three days of the meeting. I would like to thank, of course, also the uh, Asia Pacific Center of Education for International Understanding and our colleagues from uh, UNESCO Bangkok for their partnership and support in making this meeting possible. As we all know, we uh, live in an interconnected uh, world where global challenges transcend national borders. Phenomenal advances in information and communication technologies in particular have uh, enabled people to connect and interact with others around the world, anywhere, anytime, and this has uh, contributed to this incredible level of interconnectedness that we have reached today. I was looking and I was actually surprised to see in this room that very few of you were in, in the, the machines that we are attached to all day, so I guess it's a good sign that we'll have a very productive uh, meeting. But um, as we say that, I think we have to recognize that as globalization draws us together, there continue to be ongoing tensions and conflicts which continue to tear us apart as well. Millions of individuals around the world are forcibly displaced every year as a result of persecution, conflict, violence, or human rights violations. It means, in fact, that every minute an estimated 20 people are displaced. Women and children are disproportionately affected by conflict. According to our colleagues from UNHCR, nearly half of all refugees are women or girls, and about half are children. So to address these uh, issues, we obviously need cooperation, as Professor uh, Senapati has just said. We need collective actions and understanding at both the local, but also the regional and the uh, uh, global level. Education is paramount. That's why we are all here today. But we must also, I think, uh, we will all agree with that, rethink the role and relevance of education. It has been uh, increasingly acknowledged across uh, uh, many countries that there probably has been too much emphasis, and in some cases exclusive emphasis, on uh, academic achievement in schools, communities, and uh, also in the labor market. And instead, we need an education that also in addition to academic achievement, enables us to reach our full potential as human beings. And we need to help our children in this regard. Lessons need to go beyond uh, cognitive knowledge to also instill core values, attitudes, and skills that encourage respect for human rights, social justice, diversity, gender equality, and environmental sustainability. And that is why SDG 4.7, with the global citizenship education at its core, is crucial for the contemporary world. Today, more than ever, we need new skills for new times to foster greater respect and understanding between all of our cultures, to give learners tools to make the most out of diversity, to develop new values and behaviors of solidarity and responsibility, and to harness the energy of young women and men for the benefit of all. This includes, uh, in the case of what we're discussing today, a learning new ways of seeing the world today, new ways of thinking about our responsibilities to each other and to the planet, new ways of acting and behaving as global citizens. And clearly, the role the very significant role that teachers play in this process cannot be overstated. UNESCO, in particular, believes that teachers are not mere 
transmitters of information and training. Rather, they are central in inculcating a spirit of critical inquiry among learners and in helping them also shape the values, skills, and knowledge we need today and tomorrow. In many contexts, we do see, unfortunately, that teachers have limited knowledge and experience of such uh, participatory, learner-centered and inclusive approaches. Uh, you may have uh, read the UNESCO Global Education Monitoring Report 2017-2018, which actually warned that in many countries, teachers are, in fact, poorly prepared to teach topics related to global citizenship and sustainable development since initial and in-service courses and programs are limited. And that's obviously why uh, we have this uh, sub-regional uh, meeting in the hope that you can uh, help to spread this knowledge. Uh, according to uh, a recent uh, survey, we saw that only 8% of 66 countries that were surveyed have integrated sustainable development in teacher education. And that needs to obviously be increased as fast as possible. More has to be done to fill the gap in uh, uh, pre-service teacher education as well as in-service <clears throat> professional development. So we certainly hope that uh, this meeting will help all of us to collectively uh, reflect on the role and purpose of teachers we want and we need for the 21st century. Unlike uh, our panel, I see uh, with great pleasure that uh, uh, that we have more or less uh, gender parity among the participants of uh, this meeting. So that's especially important uh, because uh, women are certainly more than half the sky and women teachers are the ones who will make the difference. So once again, I, I thank the partners for organizing this meeting and I wish uh, all of you successful deliberations and fruitful mutual learning over the next uh, couple of days. Daniel Weidman.